Close your eyes. Watch your breath. Bring all your attention to the breath. Bring all your attention to what you're doing. We're trying to develop good qualities in the mind. In fact, that's what the Pali word that we use for meditation, bhavana, means. You're developing. You're not just sitting there willy-nilly with whatever. You're trying to develop your mindfulness, your alertness, your ardency, concentration, discernment. All good qualities to have in mind. These are useful not only as you meditate, but also as you go out in the world. Whatever task you undertake, you've got to be mindful. Remember what you aim to do. You remember what you've learned about that task in the past. And then you're alert. You don't go, simply go through the motions. You pay careful attention to what you're doing and the results you're getting. And then you're ardent. You try to do this really well. That's the developing quality. You can be mindful of anything. You can keep anything in mind. You can be alert to anything. But when you're ardent, you try to be mindful in the right way, you're alert in the right way, in a way that gives rise to concentration, in a way that gives rise to the best results that you can get. Again, this applies both to the meditation and in your daily tasks. And you want to make sure you carry over the lessons you learn from meditation into your daily tasks. Otherwise, you're like a person who goes down to the gym and lifts all kinds of weights and then comes home and wouldn't even lift a finger around the house. Well, that strength is for nothing. But if you take the mindfulness, alertness, and ardency you've developed as you meditate and use it every day, yeah, then the strength really is worthwhile. You benefit, the people around you benefit from it too. This is why it's meritorious. It's not the kind of happiness that only you benefit from. You benefit and the people around you benefit too. It helps to erase divisions because you're looking in for happiness in a way that the happiness spills over. Erases boundaries. Otherwise, if you're looking for happiness in gain, status, praise, pleasures, you gain but other people lose. And that's what creates divisions in life. That creates divisions in society. But the happiness that comes from meritorious activities like generosity, virtue, meditation. It spreads around, erases boundaries, makes it easier for us to live with one another. You begin to realize that human society can be a good thing. It's because of merit, or the goodness that we do in our search for happiness, that we can live with one another, and it's a good thing. So when it comes to the merit of developing, try to develop your mind as much as you can, and then use that developed mind. You find that the Buddha is right. The term acts of merit is another word for happiness. Happiness that goes deep inside and spreads out wide around the world.